Hello and welcome back. So today we're going to be returning JSON from our Flask server. So in a previous video we set up a Flask server and now we're going to look at returning JSON and we're going to do it with a couple of different methods. Uh, we're going to try Flask's JSONify method first. So how that's going to work is we're going to open up our application here and we're going to import the JSONify method from the library. Now we'll go down here and create a new route and we're going to call it JSON. And for that JSON route, we're going to create a method. And that method is going to use the JSONify method from uh, Flask's library to respond with a JSON object. Now, this is going to be transmitted as a JSON string, so uh, please note that any receiving client is going to have to parse it accordingly. Okay, so we'll go ahead and return that object and save it. And we'll start up our Flask server. Very good, pop into a new tab here, and we'll curl that endpoint, and we should get our JSON response. Fantastic, status working. Okay, great. So now that we've got that response, we're gonna exit out of there, uh, go back into our application, and now we're gonna change over. So instead of JSONify, we're gonna use Python's JSON library. So essentially it's gonna do a similar thing, uh, and the JSON library uses a couple of different methods. Um, loads will actually load a, load a JSON string into an object, and dumps will dump that JSON object as a string. So for our purposes, we're gonna uh, change this over to return JSON using the JSON library, um, and it's gonna be using the JSON dumps method to return the JSON object as a string uh, for consumption by some sort of web client. Right, so we'll uh, update our notes here and go ahead and change out our method. We'll comment out the existing JSONify one and put in our JSON dumps and enter our object values. All right, very good. And we'll exit out of there, restart our server, and check and make sure we get the appropriate response. Yeah, okay, so we'll curl that endpoint again. And fantastic, we get our JSON response. So we are all set to return JSON by two different means. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Have a great day, and please keep checking back for new content.